Andrew Pekosh, I want to step back. I remember crystal clear the path from Jonas Salk to Dr. Sabin in about 1961, 63, and those little pink drops that were a polio vaccine. When we get a vaccine for this horrific virus, is that what it's going to be like? We're all going to line up and get drops in our mouth? Well, you know, it's really difficult to predict the future, but I would imagine that um, we are going to get um, a massive vaccination program going in place. The vaccines that are currently um, in the lead in the pipeline um, are ones that are going to be given by injection. Um, and so, um, so, so I think it'll be a little bit different from the polio pipeline. But I do think that um, everything looks like um, um, vaccines are going to be the game changer here. Um, and uh, once those things get online, uh, there'll be massive uh, plans to initiate vaccination campaigns across the country, in fact, across the world. What is your best practice to get to that miracle point? Well, you know, things have been moving forward at light speed when it comes to vaccine uh, 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 testing. Um, just this week, the um, uh, FDA and the NIH gave approval to move into the second phase of vaccine uh, testing with a number of the vaccine candidates. Um, the first phase was just the safety testing. I haven't seen that data yet, but I assume since they've been approved to go into the second phase that the safety data has come up looking really good. Um, and now the second phase is going to be the critical one where they really start to look at how those vaccines are functioning. Are they making the right immune responses that we predict would protect people from infection? Good morning to you, Andrew. Let me ask you about the mobile technologies that many countries are employing to try and get us out of lockdown and to reopen economies. Here in the UK, I'm talking to you from London, and by the middle of this month, there is a hope that there will be wide use of an app that, if it's taken up sufficiently, would, would be able to help in that, in that endeavour. How excited is the medical community about this as a way of fighting the virus? Well, you know, the mobile apps are going to be a way for us to really do incredibly effective uh, contact tracing, meaning once we find an infected individual, that's going to be an objective, independent way to try to identify where that person has been and who might have come in contact with them. And for that recovery phase of this uh, uh, pandemic, that's going to be the critical way that we're going to tr use to try to minimize the number of cases. Of course, there are some implications in terms of privacy, and uh, so some people are feeling a little bit um, leery about this technology. But when it comes to just straightforward being able to track individuals and, <clears throat> and therefore slow down the infection spread, it's going to be an incredibly useful tool uh, for that purpose.